Do you feel like you're having a little bit of an identity crisis as you go through a career change or career transition? Well, in today's video, I'm going to explain to you why you have not wasted your years of work experience and education that you've already accumulated and how you can actually leverage what you've got today to build a brand new body of work and really use the information to know what work you should be focusing on next. Escape the nine to five and create your path to freedom. I'm Lydia Lee, the freedom instigator at Screw the Cubicle, and I'm so glad that you're here on this channel to learn the skills to be self-employed and to discover the creative work that lights you up and gets you paid. So I know that when we go through a career change and transition, it can feel kind of like, oh God, I feel a bit like a fraud. Um, I've done something for 10, 20 years, and now I think I want to change. What does that mean for me now? Uh, does it mean that I didn't like anything that I used to do? I've wasted my life, you know, and all the student loan debts and all the years of work that I've already put into my career? And the answer is no. Uh, the truth of the matter is, as you go through a career change, uh, where many people do in modern day careers, we shift jobs and we shift careers often, uh, it's actually a great opportunity for you to reevaluate what's really important for you in your work life. Now, as we grow as humans, our work grows with us. And this is okay. You're allowed to have expansion in your work. You are a creative being. There are um, probably chapters of your work in the future that will change from what it is today. And it's okay to embrace that change as you build good work into the world. That's actually what makes work exciting. So none of this is actually a bad thing. It's actually a really positive opportunity for you to really rediscover what's the work that you're willing to do and that you want to put energy and effort doing. So the other truth is that all the skills that you have accumulated, right? Whatever careers you've been in, uh, maybe you've been in something for many, many years, and you may not want to do that work again in that capacity. Now, this is actually a great thing because I tru truly do believe that there's so many great opportunities to repurpose the skills you already have and deploy them into a new direction. So as you are in this state of questioning, right, what's the work that you want to do, really start thinking about what if what is your work so far has brought you to realize. There's lots of things that we uh, do at the workplace that we like, and then there's some things that we don't. Uh, and maybe there's ways that you can actually improve on the way that you offer and serve other people, right? Uh, how you offer your services or serve other people that is maybe in a completely different way than how you were allowed to do it in the workplace previously. Sometimes checking in on that can allow you to sort of go, I might want to stay in the industry or the sector that I already am very familiar with. I already have contacts in it. I know exactly how it works, but I no longer want to do it in this capacity. How would I want to do it instead? What is the alternative solution that I can actually provide with my skills? And that's a really great question to ask uh, so that you can actually really start to utilize all your knowledge, right, your expertise in the same way you used to do it, except you might do it maybe for a different type of customer or maybe for a different outcome or maybe service a completely different industry. But you don't actually need to completely start from scratch when it comes to your skills. As you transition to shifting your work identity, one of the big things I want to leave you with today is to really start with purpose. Now, when you really know, right, what is meaningful for you to contribute your skills and your strengths towards, this is going to breathe new life into your skill set. Now, I work with a lot of people that have been in industries for many years, right? I work with people from the banking industry to lawyers and doctors and nurses and Everything that when they think about, you know, the, the reason why they even started in the industry in the first place was, you know, something from a long time ago that they were like, okay, that's the mission or the message that I want to get behind. And somewhere along the way, maybe it's in the bureaucracy of a company, right, or bad politics or shitty colleagues or whatever it is that tainted, right, our taste uh, for our career. Um, how can we actually, if we were in charge, if we were in the driving seat of determining our own business, right, what it is that we want to do independently and we can decide that it's like how do we change the purpose of how we deploy our skills thinking about purpose is going to give you a much more meaningful reason and motivation to do what you do the best careers <clears throat> are the ones uh, that not only are the things that you're good at but it really solves problems for other people 
right? There's a meaningful ripple effect, right? When you're involved in something and the world changes or someone else's life can change, uh, this is something you can really stand behind. So for example, when I work with bankers, you know, they don't want to give up their skill of knowing money, knowing how to deal with the financial part of their lives. And they want to share that information, share that knowledge, but maybe they want to do it in a different way now, right? Instead of helping people invest in a bunch of stuff they shouldn't be investing in. Now they want to help people be better at their personal budgets to actually think about, um, spending money wisely, having a much more educated mindset around money and giving, using money as a tool, uh, to create better versions of their lives. And you want to be a part of that change, right? So you don't have to give up that skill. You just have to use it for a different reason, a different purpose. So I would love to encourage you to think about purpose so that you don't feel like you're having a bit of an identity crisis. You can feel that actually everything you've learned, everything that you have done and been paid to do is very useful to you today. You just have to do it in a different way, serve a different person, serve a different cause. And that can absolutely uh, make sure that you're actually really growing your body of work and not feel like you're leaving anything behind and starting from scratch again. And that's going to feel a lot better uh, as you shift careers. So if you enjoyed this video today and hopefully that tidbit helps you feel better about your transition, uh, don't forget to subscribe to get more videos and tips that I do every single week on this channel. Uh, and of course, leave me a comment and let me know uh, what it is that you struggle with when it comes to shifting careers, uh, being brave to try something new with your career uh, and launching a business of your very own. Uh, I answer to every single comment every single time uh, personally. Uh, so I would love to hear from you and I'm so thankful to get to spend some time with you today. And I'm thankful that you're in the tribe that I've created over here. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video. Have you been desiring to create a life and career that gives you the freedom that you deserve, but you're not quite sure where to start? Well, let me be the guide to help you quit that job that's crushing your soul, discover your strengths and make money doing something that you love and will care about. Head over to screwthecubicle.com to find tools and resources I've created just for you to help you jumpstart your escape plan from your nine to five and launch a business you can run from anywhere.